Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. It's we're comparing these two waters. These are both Italian waters in glass bottles. And these are from the same store and these are from the same city. I'm in San Francisco right now and I'm doing the review a block away from the store. So first up is this still water. This is an Italian water and it's called Lursha, Lursh. And I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. I think it's just Italian words. And this is a dollar and 25 cents per bottle. And it's still, and it's Italian, and it's from 1917. Next up is World Market Natural Sparkling Mineral Water. This is from 1958, and this is an Italian sparkling water. This costs a dollar and four cents. So even though it's bigger and it's sparkling, it still costs less. And this is a water that has sodium in it. It has 10 milligrams of sodium. And that's really all I have to say about these waters. So let's just open them up and do a taste test. Please do not explode all over the place. Okay, good. It bubbled up a tiny bit, but um, I think it's already done bubbling up. And Oh, it's bubbling up a little bit more when I pour it. So I'm in a hotel right now. Normally I don't use glasses to do the reviews, but um, these are the hotel's cups and I don't have to wash them, so I'm just gonna use them up. Okay, this one um, has like a beer bottle lid, so hopefully I can open this up on my own. I don't drink much beer, so. I'm not used to uh, opening these. All I have is this little screwdriver tool, so I'm just trying to use this to get it open. So right off the bat, I'm already not liking this water, just because it shouldn't be this hard to open a bottle of water. Ah, oh, man, I just broke the uh, little tool. Maybe I can't do this review if I can't get this open. A little bit of water just dripped out on me. There we go. Okay, good. I can finally get it open. Topo Chino is the only other water that I've done with one of those stupid hard to remove lids. But that was a sparkling water. So it kind of had um, an explanation why I had that. Now I've got water all over my shirt. <laughs> so as far as your lid goes, you're getting a thumbs down. Still water, but uh, we're gonna do the taste test now. Here we go. <laughs> Not that great. It tastes kind of like just regular tap water. This one's not that good either. Um, but this is not good just because I don't like carbonated sparkling waters. This one had like very few bubbles at all when I first opened it, but it actually does have a pretty strong taste to it. Here's an interesting test. Let's see if it tastes different out of the bottle or out of the glass. Yeah, actually, <laughs> this is weird, but it tastes better out of the glass, which is probably how it's intended to be drunk. I saw some news story about uh, some hotel which didn't fully clean the glasses. They just used a towel just to rinse them out really quickly. They didn't use like hot water to clean them. I'm in a nice hotel right now, so I'm guessing they don't do that. But maybe, maybe this just being used so much makes the water taste worse. Yeah, it definitely tastes better straight out of the bottle. Maybe it's like a different type of glass or something. I really don't know. Isn't this hotel much nicer than my last uh, review? Like this one has a TV 
which is not two feet thick, has a big window with a lock that actually works. It's got like decorations on the wall. It has lamps. It's got air conditioning. Um, yeah, this room is much nicer than the last one. So anyway, the winner between these two is this one, however you pronounce it. Larisha with the really weird logo. Looks like an old man who has a lantern and works at a lighthouse or something. I thought it was like the Grim Reaper the first time I looked at it, just because he's all blacked out. Um, this isn't like, a, it's, it's an okay water. It's not the best I've ever had. It's not the worst I've ever had. So the, the main reason this one is winning is because I just don't like sparkling waters. Here's just a little side note, little inside tidbit. Originally, the review was going to be this water versus this, because this was also from that same store. This is elderflower found water. <laughs> I even shot the B-roll for the close-up shots of this bottle. But then after I you know, read the label, I found out this is not actually water. <laughs> this doesn't even call itself water. It just calls itself a refreshment. It's a sparkling, natural flavored refreshment. But for some reason, this bottle was at the same store on the same shelf, like in between these two on, on the shelf. You know, it was surrounded by other waters, but this is not a water. You know, one of my rules is the label has to like say water in the in the name itself, and this just calls itself a refreshment. So I'm not going to be doing a review of this. And this also has like 60 calories in this bottle, so it's another reason I'm not going to be reviewing this one. Okay, so let's just have some more of this. I'm not even going to finish this. What's the point? So, thanks for watching, everyone. You know, have a good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite.